This is the third video in my three-part flip fold album video series. If you haven't seen the first two, you probably want to watch those and come back to this one. I'll link the uh, video links in the description of this one. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you some more in-depth ways that you can add your inserts to your albums and decorate those. I'm also going to show you how you can use some of the dies to create beautiful edges in different ways that you can use the dies to add pockets and fun stuff like that. We're also going to turn some of these flip fold inserts into beautiful cards that you can insert some maybe gift cards. They're fun for gift giving. So join me and we'll learn some of these techniques together. So to decorate this page, I added this hinge on the side because the flip fold insert I chose did not have an extra hinge on it that I wanted to use. So to add a, a hinge to your um, paper sheet in, in your album, what you'll want to do is we have coordinating craft black and white cardstock that matches the core paper uh, pages inside your album. So what I did is I took a one and a half inch strip of craft cardstock and I scored it in the center at the three quarter uh, mark. When you uh, crease this again, just make sure that you use your bone folder and make sure that there's a good crease in here. Um, and then we'll add that to the album. So you'll see that I already hinged this in and put a decorative piece of paper on top. And now we're ready to add um, our decorative insert. So to do this, if you haven't seen how to add or decorate these flip folds, you want, might want to make sure that you watch video two. So we're going to go ahead and add, let me just grab my glue, um, we're going to add this to um, this hinge. So just go ahead and glue around the edge, make sure that everything is secured. And then you can, so we want this to kind of open in this direction. Um, so we'll bring that in and just kind of close that. And typically I would take some folder clips and just glue those or have that hold it. But if you have a piece of paper that you want to attach right away over the top, you could definitely do that. So just go ahead and add some glue around the edges. And so this easily adds one of the flip fold inserts that does not have, does not come with a hinge. So that gives you more options. So our next step is showing you how you can use these decorative border dies to create these fancy edges. To create a lot of the pockets and borders and all the fun decorative cutouts you see in the albums, we're using the regal borders and pockets die, the floor borders and pockets, and then the ornate borders and pockets. These work very uniquely, and I'm going to show you how you can just trim off some of the edges. So these dies, this particular scallop shell die comes with the scallop shell, there's a top and a bottom border. So I wanted to just cut off this edge. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of tape. This is just a Scotch low tack artist tape. Um, you could use um, just a regular Scotch tape too if that's what you have. Um, I just like to make sure that I tape this down evenly on both sides. You could measure if you like. I am using the eyeballing technique. I just make sure it's spaced evenly on both sides. Just tape that down and that will create this fancy edge that you see along here um, on both sides. So we're going to go ahead and just lay that out and make sure that we run this through the machine in the right direction. Let me just pull up my clear plate. Um, I am using the Vagabond. Um, this is just six inches wide. However, um, you could use whichever manual die cutting machine you have. Uh, for the larger um, albums, um, the flip folds, I do like to make sure that I am using a, um, a machine that is six inches or wider. So you can see how that cut it out. We'll just remove this. Let me just pull off that tape. The, 
low tack for this technique is pretty nice. It doesn't tear your paper. And then you'll see that the edges, I'll just snip that off. And that instantly gives you a beautiful decorative edge. So whether you're a card maker or a scrapbooker, these borders are absolutely fantastic. So that creates that base border that you saw. Now we'll want to have the scalloped edge. So for the scalloped edge, you'll see that the base is straight, but the outer edge is also cut scalloped. So we're going to kind of sandwich that together. Let me just push this back so you can see that a little bit better. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to grab that top scallop piece again. We're going to lay that down. And I have two pieces of cardstock um, together so we can cut two at once. You can do that if the die is not too intricate. So you might want to test that out before you just try cutting that so you're not disappointed. Um, but I will space this evenly on the, the top for the top two so these will get cut out together. Um, so this is really a quick way to kind of create, cut out two pieces at once, if you're, especially if you're doing the flip fold albums and you want to have a front and a back covered. So let's make sure that this paper is lined up and we'll run this through the machine. I actually do not have any shims, so let's hope that cuts it all out at once. <laughs> Typically what I mean by shimming is if the pressure is not hard enough, I'll just put an extra piece of paper on top. Um, but we'll just see how this turns out. We might be able to, oh, that's all cut out, so that's all good. Um, so we'll just pop this out. And you have both of those pieces cut out at once. So you can see that beautiful border and both of those, and you can just pop out those extra pieces. And then you're ready to remove, um, remove this um, outside border piece. Now I'm going to show you something else just so you know how these borders work in case you're very confused when you first open the packets. Like this bottom border edge, if you wanted to, I could have put this, sandwiched this on with the first time around if I wanted to have it cut out all the way around. Um, I am going to just lay this on top and just run this through again, but you could do all three pieces at once. You can totally do that um, if you know that you want the entire border cut out. But I'm just doing this separately so you can see how both uh, pieces look. So I'll just bring this back out. And we have this all cut out. Now, if you are piecing these dies together like this, one thing to remember is you are going to do a little bit of snipping with your scissors because these dies are apart. They do not come connected. So you'll have a little bit of an edge right here that you just kind of need to round off and snip. And you do the same thing here. And you have a completely different piece. Um, so you could go ahead and you could just layer this on top like that if you wanted to. Or you could do this other piece. Let me just snip this off so you can kind of see that. Not all these pieces are popped out, but that is all cut out so you could um, see that then. But you could also go ahead and trim off that bottom so it matches perfectly and put that on top. Just like I did, let me just remove this. Just like I did on this piece right here. So I did that on both sides to decorate, decorate that. Um, I'm going to just show you some variations for the regal borders and pocket um, dies. These are just some variations of what you can do with that die. So you can do um, inserts that do not cut out. There's so many different variations of what you can do with these particular border dies. Um, so you can do the flip out pockets and f all that fun stuff. So you'll see the, the design team members use this a lot. These are the ornate borders and pockets. And these you'll see, like right here, this is the area where it does not cut off because I didn't use the bottom piece. And up here, we used all the bottom pieces so you can detach, you can keep it attached, you can do top and bottom, however you like. So these are great for your albums or for your um, card making. Over here, this is the um, beautiful big corner. Here's the corner all cut out. Here's a slip in. You can slip items in the corner. Here you can cut everything out. Here's the border. And that comes from the floor borders and pockets set. With the flip fold inserts, you can also create beautiful cards. Um, for this specific one, um, we used, um, this is from pack from flip fold inserts B. You can get them craft white or black. Um, but this is kind of how it looks. And when it's folded all together, it's your traditional five by seven size. Um, 
there's many different inserts in all the packs. There's A, B, C, or D. Like this one would make a good uh, card front as as well. So you could just fold it different ways, get completely different results with it. Um, but for this one, um, we created kind of a pocket here in the center where you can just kind of pull this out. You could, if you're doing it for Christmas, you could put a family photo in the back if you desire to do so. And the way we created that pocket is for the decorative paper, we just wrap that around and close that. So you could make sure you do that to about an inch to three quarters um, on both sides to so just kind of close that up and that will sit like this. For this one you can see that a little bit better. Um, we just kind of made the decorative paper go along the outer edge and if you wanted to completely close that you could just wrap that around and glue that. So typically about a half an inch to three quarter inch longer on both sides. Here we use the decorative die on the edge. Had a sentiment in the front, a Christmas family photo on the back. Um, so you can really use this to present a gift, like if you're doing a gift card, it could be standing up like this, um, however you like, or you could again, you know, have it designed like this. So a lot of these flip fold inserts are beautiful for cards as well. So this is how your basic album will look. It, it, it's seven by nine, the spine is three inches thick, and you're gonna have five pages in there. And um, we have these in craft, white, or black. And the two albums I'm gonna show you on this video um, are, are done in white. This one is really embellished and just taken to the next level. So you'll see that she just kind of added another layer on top of the album to kind of create that shadow box look. So you'll see the embellishments, the, um, the border, and here on the side, she created an extra closure flap. And then so there, there's a magnet in here, so this just opens up. And you have all these beautiful pockets on the inside. So we'll just kind of start here in the front. Um, there's a lot of flip folds from the, um, the flip fold insert. So you'll want to see online to just see where these all come out of. Um, I'm not going to open all of these, um, but you will be able to see online where all of those come from. This is um, from one of the borders. Some of these pieces kind of fall out if they were just uh, slipped in. But you can just kind of see here on this one, um, I'll just bring this out. Here's a little pocket for photos. You have the decorative corner at the top and that will pop out as well. Just close that up. I'll just kind of go through here. We have some tags. You could do journaling. And this is another, um, flip out it here. Um, so just kind of close that. Um, I really liked how, how this border was done um, and you can kind of see it a little bit better on the back. There's a little pocket in there. The scallop or the kind of this big curve that comes from one of the flip fold inserts as well. So as you can see if you watch all three videos this will give you a great idea of what you can do for your um, albums. So um, you have pockets and inserts and all these borders and decorative elements. Just make it a fun um, album. Here there's some more pockets and, and that's, that um, curved edge is going the opposite direction. So just use your creativity and your imagination um, to add these inserts. There's no limit to what you can do with, with these. And then the very end, I'll lay this album in this direction. She just, she removed a page, so there's not as many pages, and she added like little box. So this could be like a little treasure box to add little uh, notes or whatever you prefer. So that just closes right back up. And um, this one was by designer Joanne Jamison, and she'll have more information on her blog on how this album was done. Um, here's another album that I really loved. Um, it had the closure that you can just snap this shut if you want to add that special closure. Here you've got that nice scallop along the edge. You've got these... Uh, flip folds. This is going the, towards the inside versus folding out. So you just have a lot of options with these. And I'm sure you're saying, Emily, go over all of these and open up all the inserts. <laughs> we have um, each designer is featuring an album um, on Black Friday on their uh, blog, or most of them, not quite all of them, but they're sh just showing you different ways that you can use these. I love this belly band that just holds those in the center. Um, you can open this fl flap add a photo behind it. So just have fun with yours and I can't wait to see what you create that just comes down. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. If you want to gift these albums, um, one of the design team members sent this in. This is a box. You could decorate it. You open it up and you have a beautiful album with tissue um, on the inside. So that's a great idea for maybe a Christmas present this year. Hopefully this video just kind of wrapped everything up and gives you the encouragement to start one of these 
albums for yourself. And just remember the very first time you do something new, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. You're kind of learning the ropes. Um, it's kind of like when you went to school, you had to practice, practice, practice till you learn something. So I really encourage you to do it five to six times until you get very comfortable with it. As always, I love to see what you are creating um, with your flip fold albums, the inserts, so you can share that with us on Facebook. Um, you can also leave comments below and let us know what you loved about the video, what you learned, um, what you'd like to see in upcoming videos. And if you have some friends that you create with and that you know would love to see how to create flip fold albums, make sure to share this video and the other two with them as well. They will thank you for that. Um, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and that will get you updates on um, future videos that I'm coming out with as well. So thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye.